Hey everybody, this is Ali Kamalzadeh at Gurney Law, and this is One Reg a Day, where we highlight one federal motor carrier safety regulation each and every day. And today we're going to talk about uh, something that we probably see on a daily basis on our local roads and highways, and that is a commercial motor vehicle pulled to the side or on the shoulder of the road. Now, uh, they're allowed to do that for what it's worth. Um, they're allowed to pull off to the side of the road or be on the shoulder. And we hope that they have uh, and know to take certain steps when they do so. And uh, those steps include having proper equipment on board um, to notify the motoring public like you and me that they are on the side of the road and to be careful and be aware. And that is the regulation that we're highlighting today, which is 49 CFR section 392.9 titled emergency equipment inspection use. Now, before a commercial motor vehicle driver gets on the road, the regulation states that no commercial motor vehicle shall be driven unless the driver is satisfied that the emergency equipment is in place and ready for use, nor shall any driver fail to use or make use of such equipment when and as needed. Now, we're going to highlight what that emergency equipment is. Not all of it applies when a driver pulls off to the side of the road, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Now, first, a driver must ensure that they have a fire extinguisher. And depending on the type of load that they're hauling determines the number of, that's right, they may have to have multiple fire extinguishers and types of fire extinguishers on board. Next are spare fuses. Fuses are uh, these little devices that ensure that when a turn signal, light, or electronic appointment goes out in your vehicle, you have a proper fuse to replace it and get it back going. One example is if you're on the road and you see a car in front of you and they put their turn signal on and all of a sudden the signal, rather than flashing in a, in a slow duration, it fires in rapid succession, like a super blinker. Uh, that's not normal. That's an indicator that the fuse is coming to its end of life or worse, the person hits their turn signal and doesn't realize that there's no flashing light. Um, you can imagine how important that is for a commercial motor vehicle that weighs tons and tons. If it's on the side of the road and hits their hazards and the hazards don't come on, that's an indicator they need to fuse and why it's important that they do this pre-inspection check uh, to ensure that they have extra fuses on board. Next are warning devices. Warning devices are reflective triangles. Again, if they're on the side of the road, the regulations say you have to put those reflective triangles out hazard lantern, lanterns um, or flares or flame producing safety devices. Again, you know, you hit the road flare, they throw it out. If they're going to be there for a long time or if their vehicle is disabled, they're required to put out those road flares or hazard lanterns. And lastly, red flags. Red flags are designed for or are required to be used for oversized and elongated loads. Now, not really applicable to being pulled off on the side of the road, but you can imagine a situation where a driver gets to a location and they load up the trailer and all of a sudden they realize they have a oversized or extended load. They need to have these red flags available in such a circumstance. But more importantly, going back to these vehicles on the side of the road, they have to have proper reflective tape, conspicuity tape. They have to have these reflective triangles um, or road flares to ensure the motoring public can properly see and identify them and avoid them when they're on the side of the road. And that's it. That's the regulation that we're highlighting. Thanks for coming by one reg a day. And don't forget here at Gurney Law, it's personal.